welcome to a click stop unboxing of the Avengers 60 Marvel Hero Click set. Thanks to WizKids for sending us this uh, big care package. This will be video one of a few we've got of, uh, based on the Avengers 60 set. Uh, so what uh, Jason and I want to do today for y'all is talk a little bit about um, sealed strategy as we go through and unbox this, of, uh, unbox this brick. So what we want to do, Jason and I open up two boosters apiece, build a sealed team, unbox two boosters, build a sealed team, um, and then the last two boosters and the legacy card, team up card pack, we'll unbox that as our prizing boosters. Yeah. And see how well we would have fared mm -hmm. and what we would have um, picked from our prize packs, right? So, take that to the side for now. So we played a little bit of sealed with this already during pre-release. So uh, we had some ideas. We got the I got to play with this at the Hero Clips for Huntington's event and the super special Scott Porter pre-release. So there's your first two. There's my first two. We got this crack and bill. Oh, and this is good. This is already giving me terrible backpacks. It was uh, not a great. Uh, I got the rare Ultron in that Hero Clicks for Huntington's event, mm -hmm. and he was not terribly, terribly strong. Falcon is an MVP already. Yeah, you don't know. already cracked open our first two boosters here, and um, I was super excited about what I could pull, and I ended up pulling the same Ultron rare that I pulled in the Hero Clicks for Huntington's event. But this time I pulled him with a Jocasta and an Ant-Man. So all three of those things work together. I think that ends up getting me a play Ultron at 75. And I think I'll go 75, 75 for Jocasta, and then 45 for Ant-Man. That's 195. And then I can go 80 for the super rare Moonstone that I pulled. Uh, that's 275. Oh man, that's one option. And then 15 points for the Hydra Agent, but it feels like I want to get the Spider-Man robot really bad um, to get the prob. But that's probably one version of the team I would pull. While you're talking about yours, I'm gonna kind of reconfigure this to get this um, Hulk and Spider-Man robot uh, in, on a team. Yeah, I, I, I didn't have any TK, I didn't have any prob, unfortunately, here. I did pull Falcon, though, so he's a good way to move pieces around the map uh, with Avengers keyword or Soldier keyword. Um, at first, I thought I would wanna build an avengers theme team, but I've come up about 25 points short uh, using all uh, five of the Avengers characters that I got. Uh, so I think what I'm going to do is go with Falcon and the Incredible Hulk uncommon along with Ant-Man and Stinger. But they're all Avengers, they all have the Avengers TA, so they're all be able to get a plus one attack against whatever uh, team ability I choose. Um, that leaves me at 215. Uh, and I think what I'm going to do there is go with Red She-Hulk at 75. She starts with Perplex. Uh, she has bull power and her uh, defense powers can't be outwitted. Uh, so that could be big and sealed. And she uh, does hit pretty good and she broke blocking. So uh, Ant-Man can be carried around by Falcon while Falcon still uses aerial extraction on Hulk and Ant-Man has some power. Uh, Hulk's already hitting for 12-5, so he could be a 12-6 potentially. Mm -hmm. uh, so I like that synergy there. Uh, Ant-Man can also make Hulk a tiny and uh, give him, and then uh, Stinger gives Tiny's energy shield deflection. So just to make him that much harder to hit from range, making him a 21 from range sounds pretty good. Yeah, and he Absolutely. reduces, uh, he just reduces damage on a D6 roll. So he can reduce penetrating and whatever. So I think I like that combo. Or it could also work with Falcon perhaps, uh, making him a Tiny, giving him an extra defense because uh, he already has energy shield deflection. Uh, 
but I think that's what I, uh, what I have left. That's what I'm going to go with. All right, so my alternate team is would be to play the Tony Stark at uh, 60, and then the Spider-Man robot for the prob at 40, so that's 100, and then do Hulk at 75 and Moonstone for 25 for a little bit of Pulse Wave and Shape Change Super Senses, and so that's 200, and then uh, Ant-Man at 45 for the Empower, and then Screaming Mimi at 40 for the Perplex. So that's two different options, um, 280, and then the Ultron, Jocasta, Ant-Man synergy is also just really great to combo some of that together, so. Um, all right. This is that's an okay. I think this yeah. is an okay team. You're yeah. gonna. I think. I think both these teams are okay. You're mm -hmm. gonna have to work pretty hard with either one of them. Yeah, it's not. I don't have the support powers I'm looking for. I do have good damage. Um, but yeah, it could be enough. All right. So the next two boosters. And you got uh, you got bats and bats and bleeder and um, man, I got another I got another super rare. Oh man! Here we go. There's a chase. Kid Thanos. Kid Thanos, which is definitely usable. Yeah. And you got the rare Doctor Strange. And the rare Doctor Strange, who's yeah. also a sealed MVP. I think you just pulled the nuts for sealed out of uh, this one. Quite possibly. Very possibly. So I think I got a pretty good situation here for my boosters. So Starbrand's really good because she doesn't use bolts to uh, divide her damage. So she's just got a super, she hits really hard in sealed. Yes. And then I also got Quasar and Korvac and that Stinger and Black Widow and Bowman and Scarlet Witch and Captain Marvel and uh, I got a pretty good boosters, two boosters here. Well, I think here uh, Doctor Strange and Kid Thanos automatically. Yeah, I think you got two super. Now are you playing Kid Thanos? You have to think about are you playing Kid Thanos at fifty or a hundred? Probably a hundred. Mm -hmm. Probably a hundred and sealed, right? Maybe. Could be 100 in sealed, potentially. I um, mean, he does start with a 12 attack, 19 defense. Uh, he has a full dial prob, which is nice. He has two stop clicks at 100. And that's pretty great for sealed, which is pretty great for sealed. He doesn't have move and attack, which kind of, but he is able to move up and then just deal damage uh, to whoever he bases for free. Mm -hmm. Uh, and he can carry four characters, so I still probably I may need some more offense here. Doctor Strange is great. He can he's phasing teleport. He can free make smoke cloud, and uh, he can free move himself to smoke cloud within range. Um, so which is only two markers for free. Uh, but the friendly characters that are occupying they get plus one defense, and then if there are opposing characters occupying, they get modify they modify their defense minus one and can't have any lines of fire. Uh, hindered drawn to them. So that can definitely help in range. Leader, he's TK, he's prob. Uh, he can mind control through uh, hindering elevated and characters, so that could definitely be helpful uh, with the stealth that's in the set. Uh, we got Morgan Le Fay too. Yeah, Morgan Le Fay's good. Who's 100 or 40. Yeah, her special damage power, I think, is probably what's going to help your team out the most. Yeah, she has close combat expert, empower, and probability control right. on her. And then uh, energy shield, super senses on special defense, and uh, mind control, and then it's free to only target an adjacent character. And she also makes zombies. Yeah. When she rolls leadership, which is traded. Uh, I'm not sure that I want her to 100 points, but maybe I do. That's where she gets her damage power, so. Yeah. Thanos may not be at 100. Yeah, know. maybe Thanos at 50 is the play because he's not really attacking. So if I go 100 point Morgan, 
50 point Thanos. I think I got my team. So while you're finishing up your thoughts there. So I think I'm gonna play Captain Marvel at 70. She's got the switch style and the Avengers TA. So she's, you know, 12 for four potentially in seal that she's targeting the, the T, a chosen TA. And then Starbrand brings it in at 75. Um, she's really good, just 12 for four at range. And if she attacks one or more characters with the cosmic keywords or have that cosmic energy, modify her combat value plus one. Um, and then when she's attacked by a character with the cosmic keyword, or that character has the cosmic energy modifier combat values plus one. Um, now where I'm coming in with this is, I think one of the sleeper sealed pieces in this set is the rare militant with his 19 defend leadership. Now I did not pull a Hydra agent, um, but his 19 defend, and then you play a printed prob, that's really hard to hit and seal. Mm -hmm. um, plus, he's got charge, super strength. You know, you can play the standard terrain markers and seal. So he hits decently hard. Um, and then, because that would go with Quasar at 65, uh, penetrating psychic blast. Um, he can pull over characters because he's got that special attack power. Uh, he's just probably a little nice little attacker, but then you've got the Scarlet Witch with Perplex and Prob, but only to target opposing characters. So I think you go around in a little formation with the Militant, because you've got a couple of fly two flyers, two non-flyers, you've got a TK, so you kind of maneuver around in the little bundle to take advantage of the 19 defend, um, and you prob folks with Scarlet Witch to keep them from hitting your 19 or higher, uh, depending on perplexes and ESDs and, um, yeah, because Starbrand has energy shield deflection and vulnerability, so he's going to be at 21 from range, so that's really hard to hit and seal. Now, it's a dice game, right? We're all aware of that, so uh, sometimes you can just hit the numbers, right? And there's nothing, nothing anybody can do to stop that, so. Yeah, you know, the points are just not working out like I want them to here. Yeah, that brings my team um, to 295. And this is not a close combat oriented team with what I've pulled. I'm not sure that Morgan's worth it at 100 points. Okay. All um, right. So not playing the super rare, maybe. She, I might have played this for leadership at 40 because I don't have any other leadership pieces. Um, so, yeah, I mean, there's nobody else that's a close combat character of her. She doesn't have any movement attack. So I just, yeah, I don't think 100 points is the way to go. If I go 50 at Thanos, 60 at Doctor Strange. 110. 110. Um, 145 with Leader. 185 with Morgan at 40. And then I can get a Tactical Force. A nice little range attacker. Nice range attacker. He also has probably we got all kinds of prob here. Right. I see four printed prob, and then so she did, but you're playing her at low. Yeah, she's gonna have prob. She's so just more. giving me leadership. Right. Uh, basically here. Um, so that's gonna bring me to uh, well, two sixty. Yeah. And I think I'll play that for an enhancement. Right. Now does he share? He's got Avengers, so he shares a little bit there with Doctor Strange. Mm -hmm. He's got. Mystical, so that shares with Morgan. Yeah. Um, does he share with uh, the leader at all, ruler, scientist? No. No, or Thanos, or uh, tactical uh, force. Hydra, armor, assassin, scientist. Um, so, yeah, it's either tactical force or Winter Soldier, one or the other. Yeah. Uh, but tactical force uh, does uh, have invincible. Uh, so I kind of like that, and he has the prob, and double so charge energy explosion. I think you just pulled the team that would beat my defend bubble. Because yeah. you have four printed probs. Four printed probs. And a high enough attack Yeah. Uh, with the enhancement and bats, because that gives you like 12, 12 for five, five with Doctor Strange. Strange. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 that's crazy. Yeah. Um, I, Jason, those first two teams we built, yeah, I don't think they probably get mowed over by these second two teams. Potentially. And I think you would win.
probably, prob, pro, man, dad joke and not even trying. <laughs> um, I, I wonder if there is a prime Hulk. And these fries? Because I've seen Kid Thanos and Prime Hulk together. Know, together, it okay. seems like. All right, well, let's take a look at our prize boosters that theoretically Jason would likely be taking home with his super duper probably team. Um, so you would have a choice of Doom Supreme team up card, the Avengers Prime, Prime Legacy card, and then in our Prime boost, in our prize booster. We have, you were right, Jason, yep. for what you've seen online, yep. you would potentially get to play your Prime Hulk. And what was in the other one? Uh, War Machine. Oh, Ooh, man. I, I tell you. This is a they've good thing. Rarely, they've rarely done a um, booster a War Machine wrong, and they've done him right this time for sure. Yeah. Ant Man from the set had Stark Industries. Yeah. So he pairs with him nice coming from the sideline. Right. If you, I think you just been sealed, you would play War Machine. Yeah, you could very well, but it's just a thought. Yeah, that's true. Uh, so first pick, Jason. Well, it's got to be, it's got to be the Prime Hulk, right? Prime Hulk. I, I think mean, so. Yeah. You're walking home with a Chase and a Prime in our that's theoretical a, sales that's sealed a, event here. It's a pretty good, it's a pretty good take home. And I think I would take. The Avengers Prime Legacy card over the Doom Supreme team up. Yeah, my side three. So, hey everyone. So great brick, yeah. great sealed advice. Hope y'all are having some fun playing sealed with this set. And thanks everybody for watching this unboxing video. And big thanks to WizKids for sending us this uh, care package. And enjoy the Avengers 60 set out now at your local friendly local game store. Talk to y'all next time. Later.